welcome everybody who wants to worship with us this morning in front of your screens. It is written in the letters, letter to the Hebrews, chapter 13 and 15. Through Jesus, therefore, let us continually offer to God a sacrifice of praise, the fruit of lips that openly profess his name. Amen. Our first song today is Come and Joy the Celebration. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this fine day when we, however, could not gather in the church. We are together by your Holy Spirit in front of the screens and we are here to celebrate the resurrected Lord Jesus, our Saviour, your Holy Son. We thank you, Father, for the opportunity to listen to your word, which is the life for us. We can find strength, hope, joy and love in your words. And we adore you, Lord, that you never never and never forgot about us. You are our Father and we are your children and we are here begging you to give plenty, not just for our body but for our souls as well. We are pray praying for this time of worship that your Holy Spirit just rest upon us and we are praying for your blessing Lord in the precious name of the Lord Jesus Christ who taught us to pray and to say together our Father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. 
Amen. Let us hear the word of God as it is written in the New Testament. The scripture reading is from Luke's Gospel, chapter 2, at verse 15 to 20. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened which the Lord has told us about. So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby who was lying in the manger. When they had seen him, they spread the word concerning what had been told them about the, this child. And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds said to them. But Mary treasured up all these things and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things they had heard and seen, which were just as they had been told. Amen. And may God bless this reading in our hearts. Today we focus only on the figure of the shepherds from the Christmas story because they have been the ones God first declared the coming of the Messiah to. And they have been the ones who told this good news to others at the first time on the earth. So let's see what we can learn from the shepherds. At Christmas, we sing Silent Night, Holy Night. But it wasn't silent at all. The Emperor Augustus ordered a census, which meant that all people of Israel was on the move. Everyone travelled to their place of birth to be counted. There, they had to find the officials and they were interrogated for clearly seeing their circumstances and occasionally they were abused to force to pay their raised taxes. There was no silence at all in those weeks. Big crowds, strangers, hubbub, noise everywhere. Just as there is noise, uh, there is no silence nowadays. The world is in a crazy pace and swirls with gigantic noise even on Christmas night as well. I know that because of the pandemic and especially because of the danger of the new strain of COVID-19 virus, it was a bit quieter this year. But I took my children to see their mother on Christmas day and the traffic on the motorway wasn't quiet at all. It was quite heavy. So, just as nowadays, on those days, it also could have been chaotic. It was said that they didn't have room in the inn. Yet, God found a quiet place for them, in the wilderness, where shepherds farmed, abandoned by others. The shepherds were socially excluded. 
as a class, shepherds had a bad reputation. The nature of their job kept them away from obeying the ceremonial law, which meant so much to religious people. They were considered unreliable and were not allowed to give testimony in the law courts. The prophecies even mentioned them along with the tax collectors and sinners. Let's be honest. Shepherds look like one of the worst messengers. Why were these shepherds fit to receive, to receive the divine revelation? Because they were quiet. God always talked on men in, to men in silence. When we cannot hear him, it is because of the noise around us or within us. We have to be focused to hear God's word, God's song. In the world of technology, there is a new development called hypersonic sound. The inventor, Woody Norris, has engineered sound waves to travel like a laser beam for about 150 yards. This allows sounds to be heard by a person in a particular place, but not by those immediately around them. You could be listening to music or specific instructions while those standing next to you would be left in total silence. If you move out of this tightly formed path of this unique sound waves, you too will be unaware of any noise. It is like listening to the Holy Spirit. God speaks to you through the Holy Spirit. But you have to be at your place. You have to focus on the Holy Spirit because only then you can hear the Spirit's message, the Spirit's voice. People around you probably won't hear God's voice. Neither you, if you won't be focused and silent. Someone said, <coughs> coffee was always served at our church after the sermon. One Sunday, the pastor asked a child if he knew why we had coffee hour. Without hesitating, the youngster replied, to wake people up before they have to drive home. We are laughing at this, but that is a big issue regarding our worships, sleepiness. Of course, not every preacher is like Bill Graham. They all have a different style and different talents. Some are loud, while others are quiet. Some are funny while others a bit boring. The biggest wish of Satan is you to sleep while God speaks to you. Shepherds farmed in the countryside under the open sky and guarded. When everybody else slept they were awake. And this is 
by God could speak to them. Because God can only talk to those he finds awake. These shepherds, after hearing the good news, were ready to make sacrifices for being sure of the message. They left their flocks, were ready to give up their secure livelihood. They risked to, to lose their flock, assumed all the danger of a return to the community where they were despised and came up and saw the Messiah. This is what we need to learn from the shepherds. Act immediately. Only those will find him, the Lord Jesus Christ, the newborn King. Only those who are willing to leave immediately and do not stop seeking him until it is certain for them that Jesus is the Christ. Amen. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the message today, for your word which called us, the word which testified for us about the shepherds who had a wonderful moment in their lives when a miracle happened when just opened the gate of the heaven and they saw a piece of it they met an angel who gave them the good news and they didn't want to, to keep it for themselves, but they immediately left their place and went on to find the wee child who's been promised. And they went on and found him. And they admired him. And they told the good news to everybody around them. The good news what they heard about him from the angel. Lord, we are praying for this message that you bless it in our heart and soul. We are praying that we could be just the same as the shepherd was. To go immediately when we hear the news. And not to stop seeking Jesus until we find him until we recognize that he is the Messiah, the Christ, who can save our life. Heavenly Father, we thank you that you loved us so, that you gave his, your, your only Holy Son to save our lives. And not just for us, but for everybody. So this is how we are praying now for our loved ones, our family and our friends. We are praying for them to be saved by the Lord Jesus Christ. And we are praying, Lord, for the needy. You know our necessities. 
you know what we need and you give us plenty we are praying Lord now for the hungry for the thirsty for the lonely that you be their refuge you be their hope and you might use us as tools as instruments in your hand towards them we are praying this in the precious name of the Lord Jesus Christ our newborn King Amen our closing song is it was on a starry night And now receive the blessing. After all these, peace to the brothers and sisters and love with uh, faith from God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Grace to all who love our Lord Jesus Christ with an undying love. And the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, be with you all, now and evermore. Amen. May God bless you.